Good evening and thank you for joining us on this day, the 12th of December 2014. Now let's take a look at the stories making headlines. Kenya at 51, the country marks the 51st Jamhuri Day anniversary. Christmas festivities will begin our holiday topical features countdown. Welcome. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta led the country in marking the 51st Jamhuri Day in an event that was attended by a host of Af other African heads of state. Now, key among issues that were addressed was the nation's uh, state of insecurity, unemployment, and the economy. WTV's reporter Radin Biko tells us more. President Uhuru Kenyatta led the nation to mark 51 years of independence. The celebration was dominated by military parades as they showed their skills in trooping of the color ceremony. Among the dignitaries in attendance were President Yoweri Museveni of Uganda, Paul Kagame of Rwanda, and John Damana Mahamana of Ghana. South Sudan, Burundi, Comoros Island, and Botswana sent their representatives. Today is a day to celebrate victory and promise. It is a time to reflect on our progress as we survey our nation's prospects. Today we remember the long painful struggle for our freedom, our determination in this difficult journey set us free, free to chart our own destiny, free to conquer poverty, illiteracy, sickness and hunger. We also reflect on the mandate that came with our sovereignty and the obligations which accompanied freedom. Ugandan president grabbed the opportunity to criticize the West and ICC in particularly in what he termed as biased system of justice towards Africa as a continent. <laughs> Vice President Ruto, Mutambaya and Chagurua Nawa Kenya, Eight Wanamweka Mbele and Mahakama, Yawraya Uku. He insisted that he will table a motion to withdraw Africa from the Rome status in the next African Union sitting. President Uhuru Kenyatta urged Kenyans to work together for the benefit of the country. Every part of Kenya is now invigorated with the revolution of devolution. Other fear, others fear that devolution will not succeed. This fear is misplaced. The will of the people is irresistible. Devolution is here for good. My government appreciates that devolution is a vehicle for national transformation and shared prosperity. The tough talking president sent a stern warning to terrorists and their sympathizers. Nandipo naendelea kila siku kuhimiza ya kwamba kila mkenya pahali popote alipo ajue ya kwamba ikija kupigana vita ya adui lazima tuwe kitu kimoja. Nataka ni si hasa viongozi wenzangu. Tukiwa toaja kujadilia mambo ya usalama, tuweke siasa kando. Usalama ni wa kila mkenya. Awe ni wa jubilee, awe ni wa accord, awe hana chama. Usalama ni wa kila mkenya. The president also called for international support in the war against terror, saying it's a global threat and tackling it is the only way to secure Africans' economical gain. Reporting for WTV News, Amra Dingbiko.